Okay, welcome. Let's give you a quick overview of what the application can do. First, we load some data into a new project, and all the views will be updated when the data is loaded. And bam, so we there it is. And we can select some links. And first, I don't like this column map, so let's change it. Okay, what you immediately notice that I selected some, it's already cluttered, and when you select a lot, it's even more cluttered. And what you can do is you can filter the low correlation ones out or the low distance and you can maximum in range or out range this and you can filter around the red line which is the rule of thumb, thumb by uh, software's paper you can give skip all outliers or you can say I am not interested in the inliers ok well the scatterplot is especially good for selecting outliers as you can see Oh, like this, and when and you notice that hey, this link looks interesting since it's quite big. Let's select it. So these are the regions. These are the regions corresponding to the link to the endpoints, which are the nodes here. And what you see is that in the information you can see its correlation is 0 0.6, while the effort correlation for this link is 0 0.01. So I expect to see that when you scroll through the individual subjects. All the other subjects, the link is link correlation strength is far smaller. And when I click the subset effort for this link, you see this is indeed the case. So what you can do more is click one region in the region view and a new view mode is entered where uh, the opacity is based upon the correlation strength towards this region. So these are 89 links you can see it here. And it's all the links towards this region. And you can quickly see if a region has some strange links attached to it. And you see here that okay here that the uh, higher opaque regions are strong correlations. So probably this link is this region with this one, and I can add it to my selection. And I see this indeed the case. So let's try and put it back in some view again. Okay, you can also put some extra information on. And what you notice when you go into the effort subset, you select the outliers, so that all are symmetrical regions, and you might not be very interested in them. So for the moment, you can put them away. And now you see that the outliers aren't without these uh, symmetrical regions. Let's put them back on, and just go back to an individual subject for a moment. This is the matrix bitmap which represents is a direct visualization of the correlation matrix and there's one region the other one is mirrored in the end and it's also mirrored here okay so this is left right left right and these are the symmetrical regions which is shown here that's why uh, symmetrical regions have a high correlation so that's why you see the yellow line here and you can minus the average or minus the roof thumb and you see immediately that there's an interesting point you can click it and you see it's indeed a region deviating from what is expected which is the red line the last thing I want to show you is the hierarchy view which shows how a link traverses through the brain I can select some things here and you see how it goes from the right brain through the left brain through the various loads to the other regions and of course selection is updated well that was all i wanted to show you thank you for watching and of course i can undo selections by the way so thank you and